reporting and some breaking inputs on the story. 14 days of police custody have been given to the accused Sanjay Ray by the court in the Arjikar rape and murder case. This is the latest breaking input that we are bringing to you that the accused has been sent to 14 days of police custody. Remember, the Bengal police is currently buckling under a lot of pressure. Questions being posed over there by uh, to uh, the Bengal chief minister also in terms of women's safety after that heinous rape that took place. You can see uh, medical associations, in fact, uh, female doctors taking to the streets, not just in Kolkata, in Bengal. But in fact, we are learning that these uh, protests have now spread across the country. We are also learning that the uh, entire medical fraternity, especially the women, are extremely uh, annoyed and angry. They are livid at uh, the plight and the security provided to not just the female doctors, but also the women in Bengal. But for now, the breaking input that we are bringing to you is that the accused has been sent to 14 days of police custody. Uh, the accused is named Sanjay Ray and by the court in this entire rape and murder case of the lady doctor, the accused has been sent to 14 days of police custody. Uh, remember, the police is going to now start its interrogation of the accused as the body was found in mysterious circumstances. What led to that? Remember, it was only today that the rape charge was also added. Let's quickly go across to Kamalika, who's bringing us those breaking inputs. Kamalika, share the details with us. Uh, what will be the line of investigation now with, uh, that the police got uh, custody of the accused for 14 days? See, one person has been arrested and he has been also produced in court. His name is Sanjay Rai and till 23 August, he will have police custody. Police is going to grill him. Number of all leads uh, police has got and police is investigating in this, uh, in, this, in this manner. And whether it was only Sanjay Rai or more than one, that is uh, that they are trying to investigate. Now, uh, this is clear that the post-mortem report clearly says mm -hmm. that uh, there has been a sexual, it is a case of sexual all the signals are there that uh, it is a it is a rape case so and not only rape or PM report also suggests that there has been multiple injury now here where the investigation goes on that whether it was done by one person or it was more than one that is the investigation part which is going until 23rd of August this Sanjay Rai he gets a police custody now who was Sanjay Rai in that the CP clearly not answered that what is his identity what was his profession but what is very clear that this this man had huge access in this government hospital because at night at that point of time yes. it is not easy for anybody to just go into the seminar hall of the of the hospital the police got a, a gear phone in that Bluetooth gear phone there on the PO in the PO and from there they tracked and got hold of this Sanjay Rai right now uh, this is one part on the other hand the doctors are still in protest and they are right. having rallies inside the hospital also, there are also many more solidarity rallies in and around the other colleges of uh, Kolkata. We know that Delhi Ames uh, junior doctors have also shown solidarity. Even Sabdarjang uh, hospital doctors have also shown uh, solidarity. Now what we are coming to know that the health department chief and also the, the, the secretary of health department principal, all of them have sat today and they have come up with a new guideline of um, the security that is required in this hospital right. uh, and also maybe this is one thing which will be right. implemented in others we know Mamata Banerjee has said that she does not uh, does not have any problem if CBI also come and investigates if the uh, if the uh, family demands but CBI comes only if somebody goes to the court or if state government recommends whether they're going to recommend that or not that's not clear but Mamata Banerjee clearly has also uh, stated that this is a heinous crime and she will also want the fast track to be activated on this and she wants this hearing in fast track and she will also she has also advocated for capital punishment for this though she is not uh, pro capital punishment that she has said along with that the new more security guards now will be deployed that is one thing which we are getting or right. number two those those security guard two security guard who were there in the RG court that day night they have been suspended the security agency has been show caused new uh, new security agency will be deployed so all these things are there but the big question is all these things now have started after one person's one female uh, junior doctor who is a student 
her uh, rape and murder that's a big question that is still there the question whether the administration removes the principal of the hospital or not that is also a very big question absolutely if educated literate female and women doctors are not safe in bengal what is going to be the plight of other women perhaps from the uh, lower stratas we've already seen that in sandesh kali the big question remains how safe are women in bengal many thanks to you kamalika for bringing in all those inputs